Hey, it's Kerry Sullivan here with another How to Kick Ass in Sales. And in sales, more than a lot of other professions out there, you're going to have to deal with adversity of getting no's, right? And getting your head kicked in from time to time and dealing with that. And what can happen in the sales profession is if you're not mentally tough and in a positive mind state, as much as possible, you can take a serious nosedive in what you do and not get the results you need, right? So if you keep dwelling on a bad performance from a last sales call or a deal that you blew, that's going to be really detrimental going into the next deal. So you really want to have that positive mindset frame and focus. So use the negative experiences and the no's as learning experiences. Learn from all of them. It was something I was talking about in the last video that you can go check out. So just learn from those things. You know, what can you do? So whatever that negative experience was within that sales call presentation, whatever it may be, never occurs again. But the other thing is, you know, what if it's in the heat of the moment? You go through and you have, you know, some horrible sales call or meeting and you're kind of down and out and you're thinking, oh my God, that was horrible and you can feel it, right? Your, your head's down, you get that kind of emotion in your chest, in your stomach, and your, maybe your body's feeling weird, whatever it may be. So, But you gotta go into that next call and you gotta be ready to go, right? You gotta be in it in a second. So what you gotta do is number one, believe that you can go out there and actually get the job done. It's a belief thing. It's like if you look at top athletes out there, you know, a lot of the time within a game, they will experience failures. They make a bad throw or a bad shot or they miss a shot, whatever it is. But that doesn't affect them going into the future to do good in that game or in future games. So you got to keep it in the moment for sure. The next thing you can do is really walk yourself through thinking like this. Think, all right, I'm going to the next call and you're kind of emotionally need to get in that, that zone, that state right? That state. So how do you get into it? Start thinking to yourself, how would the top sales professionals out there think, right? And start thinking those thoughts. They'd be thinking things like, I can go out there and I can deliver enormous value. I can close this person. I can get this deal. Uh, and, or I'm going to get this deal would be even better. I'm closing this deal. I, whatever it takes, I'm coming out and I'm going to get this deal done type attitude, right? Number two is how would they hold their body? How would they hold their body? They're not going to be, their head's not going to be down like this. Their voice isn't going to be low. They're not going to be looking all over the place. No, they're going to be, boom, right there, present, holding themselves up, Superman stance, right? Like they're a superhero, right? That's what I teach a lot of the guys I work with is to go in there and have their superhero stance, right? Come on in and have that good, positive, strong body language like I can get it done, right? So stand in there, start thinking these thoughts. And then start going in your body and thinking, how would their body feel, right? What would be the sensations in their body of a top sales professional, right? And how would they be breathing? So start breathing like them and start feeling those feelings within your body of that confidence of that, yes, I can get this done in the moment. And you walk through that for five minutes or whatever it may be. Maybe you don't have five minutes, but if you walk through that, you can get yourself in that state like that. And once you're in there, you're in that state like that, the last one is in the past and you can go in there and you can kick some ass in sales. So that's it. Hey, that was my how to kick ass in sales video of the day. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Hey, if you get any questions, feel free to ask them and feel free to share this as well. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.